name is Dr. Michelle Tuma, and I'm a veterinarian located in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. I am the program delivery coordinator for the Veterinarians Without Borders Northern Animal Health Initiative program. The Northern Animal Health Initiative program was launched in 2019. When we travel to the communities, generally there is a team of four, which consists of myself as a lead veterinarian. Additionally, in the team, there is one other veterinarian, one to two technicians, and one to two assistants. When we travel to communities via road, we have to unload all of our equipment from our vehicles and get it set up in our venue. When we travel to communities via air, we're lucky because the cargo company will deliver our equipment to us to our clinic venue. Clinic venues vary depending on location, um, but they can range from anything from a fire hall or a warehouse to a community rec center or just an empty house or building. Our primary focus uh, during these clinics is wellness appointments, which include vaccinations um, as well as deworming. And we also offer surgical services, such as spaying and neutering um, for sterilization of animals. There's also other minor surgical procedures that we can do. Um, and we're always prepared for any sort of emergencies that might come in as well, such as laceration repairs, porcupine quills, um, basically anything we try to handle as much as we can while we're there and see as many animals as we can. In addition to providing vaccinations and deworming, we also provide surgical services such as spaying and neutering. Spaying and neutering is beneficial in the animal populations in the north Due to the remoteness of the communities, they do not have access to veterinary services, um, which creates a lot of potentially unwanted litters. And we can see that the population of the animals, especially dogs, um, can increase very quickly without having a veterinarian around or just being in a remote area. Um, this can lead to many dogs being on the streets and can lead to uh, dog population problems. Spaying and neutering helps to prevent that increase of the dog population. It also helps to prolong lifespan, decrease the chance of certain diseases, and helps to decrease territorialism and competition amongst dogs on the street. The Northern Animal Health Initiative program was launched in 2019, where we visited three communities, Fort Liard and Wrigley in Northwest Territories, as well as Toloyawak in Nunavut. These communities were revisited in 2020 and we hope to continue to offer veterinary services to these three communities annually long term. In addition to annual visits to these three communities, Vets Without Borders hopes to expand to many other locations across Canada's north. In the next five years, the goal is to expand and to include another five to ten communities which will receive annual vet visits long term.